What's going on guys and gals? This is Brandon Costelli from Mountain Bike Action and we're here with the Wrecking Crew locked and loaded to test three brand new Intense Cycles bikes. That's right, it's shootout time. The Intense lineup just recently got replaced with the Primer family. This means these three Primer bikes will replace the Spider, the Recluse, and the ACV. The Primer 29 is the tallest contender in the group, offering excellent rollover and a balanced geometry for shredding the trails. The 275 model is a trail ninja. It's built to slash around the trails and allow riders to be as stylish as possible. The 279, or Primer S, which stands for staggered, is a mixed wheel size bike that features a 29 inch wheel in the front and a plus size 27.5 by 2.8 inch tire in the rear. This isn't the age old 29 versus 27.5 shootout. We decided to go the extra step and toss the 279 in there to discover once and for all which one of these three bikes will reign supreme. Wrapping up our shootout, we had to pick a bike to win it all. The 275 model is an awesome bike for just the rider that wants to play around, have that stylish attitude, slash the trails, get out and have fun, but we had to put this bike in second place. So that left us with the 279 and the 29, the Primer S versus the 29er. The 29er kind of had the most balanced feel of them all. We just immediately felt at home once we jumped on that bike. It's just kind of the best geometry for all around riding. The 279 on the other hand was really fun to ride. However, the back end really wants to swing around on that bike, allowing you to to pitch it into corners and get rowdy. If you're not ready for it, that unpredictability can be a little weird. The 29er kind of has more of an on rails feel. The 279 is more loose, which makes it fun. 29er excels in chunky rock gardens for blasting over rocks, keeps its momentum well, and it's just a fun bike to shred down the trail. One of the redeeming factors of the 279 is that you're getting a Fox 36 fork. At only $100 more than the 29er and 27.5 model, that's a pretty big upgrade. 
enough to where you could consider experimenting with the mixed wheel size and then purchasing a 29er wheel down the road, having that 29er with the better components, that could be a cool option that we would consider giving a shot. At the end of the day, the 29er Rame Supreme getting a big thumbs up from both our riders. Unfortunately, we had to put that 279 down in third place. At the end of the day, honestly, all these bikes are super fun, super rad to ride, and we really enjoyed testing these three bikes. To learn more about these bikes, make sure to keep an eye out for the January issue of Mountain Bike Action. Hope to see you out on the trails, and make sure to click subscribe to keep these videos coming.